Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. My name is Imi and today I have a thrift haul, a secondhand shopping haul. It's all fashion, clothes, accessories, whatever. Um, and yeah, I've been accumulating these over a little while, maybe a past month. I mean, it's only been since I moved here actually. So yeah, like a month. Um, I actually did a video over on my TikTok, which I do have linked down below if anybody does want to go follow me on there. I did a little thrift haul. So some of these items I did feature in that as well, but obviously most of my platform is here. So I'm going to put those in at the very end, like the things that you've already seen, if you've watched that, I'm going to put at the end so you can just like skip it. Um, so yeah, it's a good amount. I'm really happy with everything that I've got. I kind of like lost my love for this when I was in Liverpool and now I'm back in Manchester I've got new places to shop and I've got a great little charity shop right by me which I just want to go to all the time so yeah very excited about this and I'm going to stop talking and just start showing you what I got. So I think I'm going to start with accessories because I only have two things that I want to talk about and the first one is a really cute bag I literally picked up two days ago from my local Oxfam and yeah, it's adorable. I got a compliment on it already, literally as I was carrying it into another shop. Someone was like, oh my God, I love that bag. I was like, I just got it. I know, right? So this is what the bag looks like. It's this big like sack bag. It's so 70s, it's adorable. It's got these two little acrylic hangers. I actually think this is homemade because there's no label in it and all the stitching and everything. It just makes you feel like someone actually made this, which is so cute. It's this rust red kind of material. It looks a little more orange in person than it's showing up on camera. And then on this side, it's got this stitched quilted pattern, which I really love. Like I love this side. I like both obviously, but this is just like a little extra. It's so cute. And then these are transparent orange and they're just, great and then on the inside it has this beautiful floral lining which I just love and then it has a little pocket as well so this was so cute it wasn't super cheap um it was 7.49 but I just thought this was adorable I don't know I love it I think it's so cute and I want some more interesting bags because yeah I just think they can like make or break a really boring outfit so this with just like a blazer some jeans a white t-shirt and some like white sneakers like a really play basic outfit and then throw on a cool bag like this maybe a headscarf or a neckerchief or something i know i love it i think it's adorable so yeah first accessory that i got then i got myself something that i've been wanting for a really 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 long time and these weren't like a charity shop buy and this was actually me hunting them down and finding them on ebay and here's a pair of cowboy boots oh my gosh so i've always loved like really western style boots and i've got a few pairs of like leather heeled boots but they're more like chelsea boots not traditional like cowboy boots so these are from a brand called loblan 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 i think I, you can see by the soles the fact that it's got actual like nails in it and it's like a really sturdy sole they're just great i absolutely adore them like are they in the best condition no do they need some protection on them and like maybe a bit of a polish yeah but they're so characterful they are embossed they're such a soft leather um what does it say in here yeah low bland all leather made in venezuela so yeah they're gorgeous i was super excited about these I actually put an offer in them and she kept reject well the seller kept rejecting it so I had to just end up paying what she was asking for it which was 50 pounds I think including postage I think it was 45 pounds plus five pounds postage which isn't cheap but they're actual vintage they're really good quality I know they're gonna last me forever and they're just such a timeless color like this lovely like tan brown it's just gonna go with everything so I'm really excited about these and I've got a bit of a cowboy obsession i blame my mum she always liked them too so yeah really excited about these next i only got one jacket so i'm going to show you that because i'm an absolute jacket lover collector i love a good coat jacket i just i love them i think they're great and then i saw this one for such a good price in that local gold mine of a charity shop and i just kind of had to get it it's a super simple gray 
blazer it's actually a size like 16 or an 18 or something 18 but it was only 3.99 it's got built-in shoulder pads and it's just a great fit like i've been after the matilda jerf like the jerf avenue one for ages but i couldn't like i couldn't convince myself to spend that much money on a blazer and i mean look the length is great the shape is great the shoulders are fab i love this and it's just got like one big chunky button it's fab and for four pounds not even four pounds this is why we shop secondhand for piece like this um yeah actually all of my outfit is secondhand right now so i've got this t-shirt which was <laughs> a friend's and then just blue jeans and then this and it just looks sick I'm really excited about this find. So I'm gonna now go on to knitwear. I got three pieces and one of them actually wasn't from a charity shop. I'll explain that when I get to it. The first thing that I'm gonna show you though is this cute little short sleeved knit top. It's, it's just such a timeless style. Like these are never gonna go out. Like these with skirts and knee high boots or just with jeans. They're just so great. I mean, I feel like they've always been in style. Like thinking about it, they fit into like every genre of fashion and i don't have anything like this so definitely a good find it's originally from zara actually so i know it's always going to be like fairly decent quality um it was 3.99 it's cute it's really soft it's got loads of stretch as well which is nice but then my favorite detail is on the back it has these three little pearl buttons and i think they are adorable the next knitwear piece is this little lilac cardigan it's a very simple cardi it's long sleeved it's a thin knit and again i just thought this is a great basic i love a cardigan but i don't really have any thin ones like this i mean you could crop it i suppose and make it more kind of like trendy but I think I'll probably keep it the way it is and have it use it more as like a top tucked in jeans. That's kind of how I'm envisioning it. Or maybe over like just a white tank or something. But yeah, it's a really classic piece. I don't know what brand it's from actually. MGXX, but it was $4.99. It's quite big, but I like that. It's not super, super fitted. And this was also from the Oxfam where I got the bag from. So yeah, very cute. Just another good classic especially for like changing the seasons i feel like i wear that a lot in like spring so i'm including this next item because technically it's second hand however pricing wise everything like that definitely not an affordable piece i would say but i kind of just had to get it because these are very hard to come by it's gorgeous it just fit me perfectly and i impulse bought it so sue me and it's this knit jumper so it's this big chunky cream knit it's gorgeous it's super weighty it's so soft though like it's not like an itchy wool it's gorgeous and if you can see it says us avarex or avarex however you like to pronounce it but it's quite a well-known brand they do lots of like motorbiking leather jackets and things and if you know it you kind of know it it's a sick brand anyway and it's very like popular at the moment so i got this from a vintage shop here actually it's a pop-up my boyfriend has done some work and some stuff before in the past so we're like big fans of them they start off on depop and they are called gone fishing i will i'll have them linked down below if anybody's interested they do a lot of really cool stuff but they have a pop-up like down the street from me and they have so many cool pieces they had like a really nice prada jacket and things and there was just so much i wanted but honestly i could not afford that but this i couldn't leave behind because i just feel like this is something that's so timeless um, if you might have noticed, I failed to mention the price and that's because it was £80, <laughs> which is a lot. However, again, you're paying for the brand, you're paying for it being like a one-off and more of a, a hard to find piece. And yeah, Just don't question me on it, okay? I've come to peace with my decision, so should you. <laughs> so the next category I'm gonna go through is bottoms. So I've got this skirt. This is from my favorite charity shop. Once again, it's just a really nice A-line leather skirt. I actually didn't have one, which is kind of surprising because they're such like a, a classic basic, but I never found like one that I liked the shape of enough. They were either kind of too tailored or they were long or too short. Whereas this is just like perfect. 
it's again originally from Zara it's Zara basic and it's a size small it costs $5.99 which is a really good price it has some stitching detailing down the front and there's this like triangle panel in the middle it has two pockets a little one on each side and this silver zip up the back it's a pretty standard leather skirt I just didn't have one that was exactly how I liked it I feel like I'm really glad I have it now because I know that that's always an option. I am more of a trousers and jeans girl, honestly, but I like a skirt every now and then. I, I, I can be fun too, so yeah, so it's just a great find. Honestly, I'd had it on my mind that I needed one since I got another item, which I'm gonna show you later on, because I thought that would go really well with a leather skirt and I didn't have one, and now I do. Yeah, basically that's a long story. I got a leather skirt. <laughs> to me, this next item was probably one of the best finds Ever. not because it's particularly rare or not because it's particularly expensive or branded or anything like that just because finding something that fits me this well and be this fun is uh doesn't happen very often especially when you live in a city center where everyone's after very similar kind of stuff but i got these pink trousers oh my gosh they're so good they are this baby pink color they are straight legged all the way down they have two buttons here and a nice little matching pink zip as well um they're from a brand called saint michael and it says they're a 12 but it's a vintage size so clearly they're not they fit me like a glove again they have little pockets on the side and these were only $5.99. If you watch my recent what I wear in a week um, or outfits of the week video, I actually do have some pink trousers very similar to this already and I love them. I wear them all the time. So these are a different shade of pink and I know it may seem excessive to have both but I don't care. I love them. I think they're such a good piece. I was just so happy with this find. I couldn't believe it. It's got this gorgeous pleating detail and I was just shocked that no one else had picked them up because it was a very busy day. And no one else had grabbed them. I think people worry about sizes when it comes to bottoms in secondhand stores. But most places you can return it. So honestly, it's worth the gamble. The buttons are adorable. Everything's adorable. I was just so happy with this find. Next, I'm going to show you kind of one pieces and dresses. So um, I have two really cute dresses that I picked up about two days ago. And the first one is this white sparkly dress. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it right now, but like I said, I'll do a try on for you so you can see all the details and everything. It is this kind of jersey round high necked dress and it's midi length, it's sparkly, it moves, it's great. And then the back is cowled and it has a detail across here that you can tie. And it's just, it's very flattering. It's, it's gorgeous, it's stunning. Yeah, this was actually from, I think it was be from, oh, it's from ASOS and it still has the tags on it. Um, it's a size six and it was $6.99. The next dress, again, I saw it and I had to have it. It's very 70s. As you can see, it's again, this kind of quarter, three quarter length sleeve polo neck dress. It's I would say not very fitted. Again, it's a jersey fabric, super stretchy, but not super fitted. The fabric of this is great, like this print with the light brown on the darker brown. I just think it's so 70s. Like I imagine this with like a pair of white go-go boots and I just think that would be impeccable. This was actually $7.99. So again, not the cheapest and it's, own, it's actually a size 12 again. So I think it is meant to be a bit more fitted, but I like it. A little bigger actually more kind of like shirty so i could probably put a belt on it or have it a bit bigger if i want to take it in that's always an option it wouldn't be hard to do with this kind of fabric but for now i'm just gonna leave it and yeah another great find that i absolutely love so my next and last one piece is i know it's gonna be a bit controversial because my mum hated it <laughs> but i loved it and it's it's a very particular style because it's this rainbow play suit that's made out of wool and she was like how are you gonna style that when are you gonna wear that and so i say uh, a night out in autumn or winter when you need the warmth but you also need to look 
drop dead gorgeous. It's rainbow, like I said, it's wool, it's lined with satin, it's kind of got this ruching detail here. It's a lot brighter in person, how it's showing up on camera again, but it's just so fun. Like, I'm thinking again, very 70s vibes. Um, I just, I really liked it. And it was only a 10, it was only 10 pounds, which I knew that the seller wasn't like 100% happy with. I could tell that she was like a little attached to it because it was made personally for her. But I'll love it and look after it, I swear. I just think it's a great, cool piece that, I don't know, sometimes you need something more fun to spice up your life, make you feel good. The last category that I have are tops, I suppose. Um, I am missing one that I did feature in my thrift haul and that's because I wore it recently so it's in the wash. But it's really simple, it's a long sleeve crop top with flowers on it. It's very basic, if you want to go and watch that video, that TikTok, like I said, it's always linked down, down below if you did want to see it for that. But everything else is here. The first top that I got is this baseball top from Carhartt. It's a long sleeved, oversized graphic. It's great, I love it, I've already worn it, super comfy, it's a size medium. And this was only a pound. This was on the pound rail. So very happy with this. I love it. I think it's really cute. Very, very comfy. And yeah, no complaints. Nothing else more to say. Can't believe it was a quid. Next, I got this blue graphic t-shirt. Um, it's just a blue, baby blue oversized t-shirt. It's a Fruit of Balloon one. I mean, it has this graphic print on it, which has this kind of like pop art style woman. Um, and it just says next to it, Hefner. Um, I don't know if there's any particular reference. If you do know what it means, let me know. But yeah, I got it. I thought it was cool. I think it was about three pounds for this top and it was in the men's section. Joe actually found this for me and he was like, this is a bit of you. So yeah, I like it. The next top that I got is just a very simple pink shirt. In the same way that I love jackets, I love basic shirts. Um, I have quite a few of them in a lot of different colours and now I have a baby pink one which I'm surprised I didn't have sooner to be honest with you. It's originally from Pull and Bear, it's 100% cotton, it's very soft, it's not too oversized which I was really glad about, it's a little more like the preppy side which I kind of like and I think again this was about three or four pounds, it wasn't super expensive so another really good basic find. Finally the last item that I'm going to show you today that I got is probably one of my favorites which is hard to say now because obviously I love a lot of these pieces but there was just something about this that I was like I just needed this it needed it was meant to belong to me and it is this black blouse that you really cannot see very well but it is a mesh blouse with a polka dot print all over it it has all of these ruffles all over it. Again, you'll see better in the try-on clips. And it has this big tie to make a big bow out of it. Again, it's originally from Zara and it's a size large. So Zara, honestly, it's pulling up stops apparently. But it's just very like gay pirate, which I just live for. And I just think it's great. And this is what I kind of imagined with like a black mini skirt or some super cool leather black trousers or maybe just some black jeans and then some cool chelsea boots or heel boots snake skin or something i think that was about five or six pounds actually it may have been eight or nine thinking about it now again it's in the tiktok because i've actually taken the tags off because it's been a while but i just love it so much and i cannot wait to wear it i still haven't had an excuse to wear it yet but I cannot wait for when I do. I just think it's gonna be so much fun. So that is everything that I got. Um, I feel really happy with everything. Like everything I got, I'm gonna wear, which is such like a nice feeling, especially because a lot of it are basics and some of them are really fun statement pieces. And yeah, I just, if you can shop secondhand because I love having individual pieces. I like that you can create like, an image in your mind when you see a piece and you know how you're gonna wear it and stuff. Um, I just, yeah, it's fab. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe and leave a big like down below. Maybe let me know what your favorite piece was or if you hated all of it, let me know that too because that's also fine. <laughs> we all have our own opinions and styles. But yeah, I love everything. I thought it was great. Manchester has some good charity shops actually, which I'm fairly surprised at. So anyway, I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.